The sun has five layers of immortality? Okay, I really like how they did this animation. It's a lot different. Generic control in the back goes. We're back some more death battle reaction. Today we are reacting to Hercules vs. Sun Wukong, which I believe is from Journey of the West, and Hercules is, I believe, is a Greek. I'm pretty sure it's Greek mythology is where Hercules is from. I like how they have the rock there. I actually haven't seen that movie. I remember it was what? Was the movie called Troy that had Hercules in it? Well, I'm pretty sure it had Troy, right? I have no idea. I need to rewatch that movie. It's been so long since I watched it. I watched it back in high school. You want to check my reaction to the last one, which was Magneto versus Tetsuo. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, we place my channel with all the other death battle reactions. Go into chronological order if you want to check those out. I know I skipped a couple here and there because of spoilers. Uh, I'm still going to get the games like the Metal Gear Solid games. I got to play those. Uh, Zelda games, I got to play those. I've never played a Zelda game or a Metal Gear Solid game or games like that. How so? I have not watched JoJo yet. I will react to JoJo at some point. So and then I will go back and do a death battle. But today we're doing Hercules vs. Sun Wukong. This is, I believe, the first death battle they're doing between two uh, mythical uh, people. I don't know what two myths, I guess, is what they'd be called. I have no idea. I hope you're subscribed so you don't miss it. These videos come out on Wednesday. I'm also doing my very first... Well, I'm trying to complete my very first Pokemon Nuzlocke. I'm out for blood. Last week I got completely reset. I got wiped. So I'm doing it on Pokemon Platinum at live at 5 p.m. 30 minutes after this video is live. And that's linked down below in the description. You know, check that out. It's a great time. Do some crazy stuff. Current record is 78 and 48. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. All right. Is Plus better help, I which better is help. good. All familiar with I burnout. burnout, really? People tell me I'm gonna burn out for years, but I've I've put out multiple videos every single day for the last two years plus, and I record, edit, make every thumbnail, and read every single com uh, comment. Myth has many heroes, but few overcome their past to become legendary. And maybe yeah, I know. Yeah, Goku is based off of Sun Wukong. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. So where are they getting the, the like examples from? Like where are they getting He's the, the man, numbers from? The myth, the legend. He's Hercules. Stories of Hercules oh, he's exist massive. in many iterations, but we'll examine the earliest known accounts: the legend of Heracles. No Disney What's going on with the hero, video? Just the classic Greek myth. And like most oh, just a myth. Okay. Stories, it began with Zeus being a total creep. The god of thunder. Yep, he does that. Thing with a princess by disguising himself so as demigod. her husband. Oh, what the hell, man? And thus a demigod was born, who was named. Alkaos. But Hera was pretty pissed Zeus had that's cheated on her yet again. So Alkaos's human parents. Sixteen, really? That's it? Yep. Heracles means glory to Hera. Too bad she had already made up her mind though, and that kid I don't know what's was going to The child weird. would need some way to survive Hera's wrath. So the goddess of heroes carried out a plan that was frankly insane. Athena tricked Hera into nursing the baby Heracles. Always oh, Athena. And her milk gave him supernatural strength unbound, even beyond many of the gods themselves. So strong. What is going on with that? Her and caused her to spray milk all over the place like a boob sprinkler, which in turn created the galaxy. Yep. What? That's why we call it the Milky, Milky. Way. Oh, no, it God, isn't. I'm never eating one of those candy bars again. With his I can't the last time I had one. Heracles became a fierce warrior trained by the finest what movie is this? in all of Greece. Unfortunately, he wasn't without problems. While he was a natural at boxing, wrestling, fencing, and so much more, boxing existed? he struggled in the arts. He even had a fit and accidentally killed his music teacher. Little did Heracles know this was a sign of the time my tempo. Many years later, as his name began to be synonymous with the term... Oh, let me just throw a tree at you. ...his wife, Princess Megara, and their sons. Yeah, Hera had magically driven him into a kill frenzy rage, but that didn't oh. excuse it for Herc. His guilt was there. Desperate to atone, he sought guidance from the Oracle of Delphi and learned his path to redemption. He would submit himself to King How? Eurystheus and perform for him ten grueling labors. The guy was a demon, which but are did what he had to, and through his struggles built a killer army. I haven't seen for his first labor. He was tasked with slaying a lion whose hide could not be pierced by any blade. So Herc just beat the lion to death with his bare hands and took no. It was Achilles that true that was Troy. I'm pretty sure Hercules was in that. Man-eating birds with Cortalis so loud no living thing could bear the noise. He battled a multi-headed oh? Hydra. Cauterizing its necks after each decapitation so the heads would not grow back. A lot of sliced off heads so he burned them? That's heat. And Hydra blood is extra poisonous. 
super human speed. Spirit. So Herc dipped mm. his arrows in the stuff for later use. Like when he later used take out centaurs, titans, and even the sun. Uh, sort of. The details of the smith differ. But in some what? versions, Heracles was so fed up with the desert heat, he fired an arrow at the sun. The physical <laughs> embodiment <laughs> of the god Helios. I guess that's one that's way. One to way. That I need to do that. I'm to covered in sweat sun, right now. His arrow would have to fly 90 times faster than light. The maximum draw weight of a typical recurve bow There's no way. Pounds, shooting an arrow 300 feet per second. Shooting There's no way. Faster than light would require strength incomprehensible to mortals such as us. Anyway, her also that bow. His labors, but the king was a sore loser and axed two of them for cheating. Because Hurt was a lot more clever than he expected. Heracles received what? two more tasks. So basically, he just wanted to retrieve the, the golden apples of his charities, <laughs> which ironically originally belonged to Hera. As part of his plan, Heracles would temporarily take on the role of the Titan Atlas as bearer of the heavens. That sounds oh. exhausting. More than you think, dummy. While modern art often portrays Dumb. Atlas carrying a globe, the Greeks perceived his burden as a celestial sphere. This would mean Heracles supported the weight of not just the Earth, but the whole the universe. universe. Oh! I'm holding up this entire show. The common view of the time was that the universe was endless. Even chaos, the primordial <laughs> origin of everything. Is something wrong with like boundless. the YouTube video? Meaning. Heracles held up the weight of conceptual infinity. Luckily, Herc's got one hell of a It's kind of like to uh, Superman with like the infinite when book. He met king and meet us. He got to party it up and was too drunk to realize the king was in a really bad state because his wife had just died. Reminds huh. me of someone. Sounds Can't imagine who. Pretty well, casual. Herc felt bad, so he decided to make it up to his bro by literally beating up the god of death until he returned and meets his wife. And that's true best friend material. But did he have to do it naked yes. though? Heracles frequently surprised others with his wit, particularly. I mean, fighting death is cool, but naked. Sight. For example, when he wrestled Antaeus, a giant who was invincible so long as his feet were on the ground, Heracles simply picked him up Pick and strangled <laughs> him in the air. Even Jason, oh? the god of death, couldn't end his story. Instead, he was tricked into putting Is on a Dwayne Johnson one's good. Blood and it totally screwed him up. What a BS way to go. Yet yeah, also a testament to how a contest of power could not defeat him. Racked with unbearable pain and burning at a pyre, Heracles called to the deities huh. who had watched his story unfold. And so, as his mortal form returned to ash, Heracles ascended to Mount Olympus. Also, their animation for this is kind of crazy. Like, it's not even the fight. One of strife and struggle. But what game on is this? That day, all the world was left in awe of the legend of Heracles. Heracles. Hercules? Huh. How about that? There and now we have Journey to the West, which I actually don't really know. I just know that Dragon Ball Z is based on it, and a lot of things Moon. are actually. Upon birth, he graciously bowed Monkey Boy. To the cardinal directions and shot lasers from his eyes. Strap in, folks. Wait, really? A doozy. This Wait. monkey soon befriended a band a of other primates old. and rather narcissistically named himself their handsome monkey king. But it's after a few life. centuries of monkeying about, monkey king, king of the monkeys. The Son Goku. You see, the Monkey King was fierce and brave, yet he feared death. So he ventured to new lands in search of immortality. In Turns out he'd find a lot of it. Training under the There's no point in being afraid of the inevitable. Of he earned his first method of immortality and a new name. He would be the Monkey Awakened to the Void, spoken as Sun Wukong. Uh, that plot made it sound like magic. Monkey, the Monkey Awarded. Clouds, <laughs> make thousands of clones, heal from fatal thousands? like decapitation, and transform into that was pretty fast. anything. A bird, some vapor, a pitchfork, even an incredible fighting temple. With his famous cloud oh, somersault, okay. he could traverse the world at incredibly high speed. At By first, jumping on the clouds. Somersault could carry him 108,000 li. Li being a traditional Chinese unit equal to about 500 meters, making one somersault oh. move 54,000 kilometers per second. Fast enough to circle okay. the entire Earth in one leap. And he'd only get faster. Jesus, there. really? Monkey would do whatever it took to prove he was the best of the best. When fighting the mighty deity Prince Nocha, does he like food? Transformed into a more powerful visage with three heads and six arms. But Sun was like, "Hey, I can do that too." And <laughs> what? Just that. Sun Wukong eventually returned to his simian subjects, and with his newfound power, amassed Monkeys. a veritable army. However, he what is this, rise of the Planet of the Apes or something? 
So he barged into the Dragon King's palace and General, demanded what's up, he dude? hand over a weapon worthy of a king who could match the power of heaven. Yeah, Sun was pretty full of himself, but he wound up taking a pillar mean, originally designed the handsome, to measure the depths like of the ocean. What seemed like a worthless rod to the Dragon King was actually the perfect weapon for Wukong. Weighing nearly eight tons, the Rui Jingu Bang can change eight. size at his whim. It can shrink oh. the size of a needle or grow long enough to pierce the heavens. The same heavens that got pretty mad with Sun after he crossed his name out of the ledger of death, making himself double immortal. Wait, double that immortal? Even more that... mad when he demanded to be how could you do that? acknowledged as the great sage equal to heaven. Okay, we've got a headstrong goofball who quickly <sighs> masters new powers and wants mm -hmm. a fancy title. This is just shown in anime. Now, I guess. May have Are they all based off of this? It was because when he requested a place in heaven, a place he truly believed he deserved. The Jade Emperor's court reduced him to a stable boy. Beneath all his antics, what Sun wanted this? most was to prove himself. Even with all the shenanigans, the Jade Emperor remained cautious He's and a willing monkey, to placate so. Wukong. By making him the watchdog of the Garden of Immortal Peaches. He totally ate that shit, didn't he, Wiz? Oh yeah, Wukong got hammered, ate most of the peaches, ran around the Jade Palace in a fit, and found five gourds of immortality pills, which he promptly five? swallowed. All, All of them? them? Okay, so that makes There's five of them. How many layers of immortality now? I'd say a few hundred, thousand. If How does that work the then? Kitchen pill. When he sobered up, he knew he was in serious trouble. So naturally, Please, more. What are you gonna do to him? He prepared for war. Wow, that escalated quickly. Over some peaches. What are they gonna do for peaches. To so the Monkey King proved too strong for heaven. He battled all their best fighters and even matched Erlong Shan blow for blow in an epic battle of transformations. He's that guy with the That's third a fish. eye. And heaven's greatest oh. holy warrior. Yet no Team. matter Erlong's okay. form, who can always really, but... had a counter. Until Lao Zi threw in a convenient plot MacGuffin that Lao captured Zee. the monkey. But even with Wukong in chains, heaven had a problem. He just wouldn't die. Lightning, fire, immortal. And Lao Zi's de immortalizing furnace just made the monkey stronger. Now, Wukong made him is stronger. Not invincible. He has been hurt by the scorpion demoness's poison, which could even harm the Buddha, an awakened divine being liberated from the cycle of life and death entirely. Now, tell me, okay, how painful is that? Pain is all in the mind, and I. Am absent of mind. Oh God! Oh no! I was wrong. No pain. Man, it's really, really, really That's. Bad. Oh God! Make it ah. uh, But even after all that, Sun had one Yikes. more challenger to contend with. The oh, Buddha Goku? himself. Oh. Approached Wukong. One v one Buddha. Leap out of his Buddha? hand, and he Buddha. could have the Jade Emperor's throne for himself. Having no impulse control, the monkey agreed, and in an instant, somersaulted to the very edge of heaven. But he had already lost because how did Buddha he already lose? Nirvana, he transcended the world, literally holding all of existence. So even at the edge of the universe, Wukong it's still Buddha. never left his hand. For his rebellion, Sun was put in timeout. Sealed under a mountain for 500 out. years. But even Sun Wukong would find a chance at redemption. In his case, he was tasked with escorting and protecting a monk, Tan Sung Zong, or Tripitaka, that's, on a journey to the West. That's with additional name? companions, Pigsy and Sandy, the trip was a tough one. This and live action is wild. More than once. But through it all, he always returned to shine as the Can group's powerhouse. The size of mountains? Tripitaka's life many, many times. Seriously, this guy could not stay out of trouble. It's like whiz at a blind date. M. <clears throat> Wukong has cracked apart mountains, Yikes. slayed hundreds of monsters, and survived the yellow wind demon storm that could destroy the universe. As oh. In heaven, Earth, the 18 layers of hell, and more. The That's 18 cool, layers? Good lord. Let's answer the real question. Can he beat Goku? Um, Can he beat Superman? Maybe. During his journey, Wukong performed possibly his most legendary feat, holding up Mount Sumeru. Which, in traditional That's... Mahayana Buddhism, is a mountain supporting the infinite cosmic sky. And Sun just hauled it around on one shoulder. Just one. Because on his other shoulder... So they both held up the universe. Mountain. After 14 years of travel, the journey was complete. And Wukong had finally accomplished a truly great deed. For this, he was given his long-awaited place among the heavens. As the victorious oh. fighting so, okay, Buddha. Worked. Now that's gotta be an anime. After so much time as a rebel, an outcast, <laughs> victorious a fighting Buddha, warrior, Sun Wukong had at last found his home. Okay. This episode is sponsored by Babel. Babel. Learning a second language was. Oh, huh. learning another language.
Sixty mm. percent off? Jesus! What is their what is their profit margin? <laughs> oh, current record is seventy-eight and forty-eight. This is the first battle between two myths. I'm going with Sun. I'm going with Sun Wukong. Hopefully the video doesn't screw up. Like it's so pixelated. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube right now. Great mountain where the mighty Heracles sought a gift from the gods. Oh there. Hi. I'm in need of that apple. Relinquish it. Why is he want an apple? I'm supposed to find my master some vegetarian food. You'll find it. Is that a Buddha thing? Buddhism? They got for vegetarians. But Heracles was not so easily fooled. Will he throw him a peach instead of an apple? Okay, he, he just pulled that out of his ear. But he'd not so easily overwhelm the god of strength. I like the format they did here. But I think Hercules is not immortal. The sun has five layers of immortality. They both held up the uh, universe. I am Heracles. Okay, I really like how they did this animation. It's a lot different. The really fast arrows that, you know, he shot into the sun. Make He can make thousands of clones. Are they all as strong as him, though? Or are they all just, like, shadow clones where, like... They're just there as a distraction. Just turned into an eagle? What? Die, demon! Oh, that was when that was the sound thing that he did. That no living thing could like survive. But immortality. The and then the scroll opens to the bottom. Forest, in awe at such a wondrous fight. But should he mistake his fear, he might lose his head. Wait, what? I haven't had such fun since I fought all of heaven. Change. All of heaven. Behold me, the immortal monkey king. With six arms and three heads. heads. Of course. <laughs> Multiple targets. I mean, can Hercules even like put up a good fight here? He might be able to. But I mean, immortality is OP. Just ask Frieza. Okay. He can pick that up, no problem. He literally picked up the universe. I've had enough. You both have carried the universe. That staff does not break. In heavens above, the gods witnessed their earthbound selves, and so joined in that. Wait, the gods started fighting? Mustered the hearts of Olympus, while the great sage harnessed power equal to heaven. Thus. Also, who is voicing this? The Monkey King emerged victorious! Really? Oh, wow! Wow, would you look at that? Got it right? 79 and 48. <laughs> With a formidable foe slain, stricken against the mountain's breast, so ends our great tale of East and West. YouTube, why? East and West? Oh, is that... Okay, I guess that's cool. Heracles was among the greatest heroes in myth, but, but the immortality. The Do you agree or disagree? I read every comment. You'd think Let me know. Not measure up to the god of strength, you know, strength, but he totally they both could. Remember, picked up he the universe. Sumeru on his back, the mountain holding up the infinite celestial sky, like how Heracles held up the infinite celestial sphere. As befitting yep. heroes of myth, they were on par in that they were both incomprehensibly strong. However, Wukong's healing abilities very interesting. They're two mythological beings. Whereas Heracles did not have a similar option. But Heracles did have one way of putting the Monkey King down. His arrows dipped in hydra poison. The hydra poison threatened even the gods of Olympus, similar to the scorpion sting. Whether or not it would be fatal is questionable, but it could have incapacitated Wukong, similar to how it affected Heracles himself. But that is one very specific win condition, and we're looking at this <laughs> with every possible option in mind. With his variety of clones, transformations, and numerous other spells, Wukong's arsenal was far more versatile. Like, there was nothing stopping him from making thousands of clones of himself and just sitting back while they beat up Herc for him. Okay. Like, sure, 
In character, nah, that would be funny. Absolutely. Even then, those I really liked how they did this. Strike Wukong, which would be extremely difficult. Yes, in some depictions, Heracles could potentially shoot the son of Helios, his arrows flying 90 times the speed of light. However, oh, yeah, that's it. the Buddha, Wukong leapt the to the Buddha. edge of the universe in a single second. To do so, he had to be moving over 1.4 quintillion times faster than light, making him way faster than Herc could ever hope to be. Heracles held might of mythic. Y'all know I like fast characters. Shot, Sun Wukong's versatile magic, similar strength, and absolutely absurd speed overcame this foe. Fitting for Speed heaven's kills. Evil. When fighting Sun Wukong, Heracles miffed his chance. The winner is the Monkey King, Sun the monkey. Wukong. Goku wins. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's a Japanese Stay name. What's the next one going to be? Wait. Clicking that join button Hopefully, I'll be able to react to it. It'll be out, I guess, two weeks. Patrons get it is there, by the way. Live streams and way more. Next time, it is that Star Wars. Was that? Is that Boba Fett? Boba Fett versus Predator. Do I react to that? Do I react? To I know I've skipped some Star Wars in the past, but also other ones I haven't skipped because I've never seen Star Wars. So maybe I will. Let me know if you. I don't, I don't know. Let me know. That might be a uh, spur of the moment thing. Like the day like it comes out, I might have people check for me to see if it's okay for me to. Oh, here it is, right down here. Um. Well, that was I guess a spoiler, but we avoided that and thankfully current record is 79 and 48. Like I said. I should be doing my Pokemon Nuzlocke. Hopefully, I can do my very first one. Uh, or successfully complete my very first one. I didn't get far on my last one, which actually ended last week. So, I had to completely start over my Nuzlocke uh, doing Pokemon Platinum. It's live on Twitch, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is great. Um, like I said, patrons got the videos day early. Couldn't do this without them. They allow me to have a paywall on the channel. Because these videos actually get copyright claimed. So, that's really unfortunate. So, I couldn't do this if it was not for my patrons. So, if you can, literally $3 a month gets you all of my reaction videos a day early. And, like, I, I'm doing, like, almost 20 videos a week. So, if you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm glad I got it right. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section. It was kind of weird they did the whole mythological thing. I, I don't know what was going on with the screen. Is that just so many people are watching this right now that it's, like, breaking YouTube? I have no idea. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made your day better. But until the next video, take care and cue the music. Or play.